Oh boy, oh boy, oh no, oh no. So I guess GTA 6 is going to be coming out very, very soon. And here comes the cavalcade of sweet and innocent right-wing conservative Christian types who want to gripe and bitch and complain about all the things they're pushing on children. Uh, what kind of rocket scientist do you have to be to understand how game ratings work? 18 and over means not for children. hey -o. Not for children. And look at this. Why are the Zionists at Rockstar Games releasing the sexualized video game for children in America? Get banned GTA 6 hashtag trending right now. Wait. He's got the line through pictures of women in bikinis. So w what is that supposed to mean? So a woman in a bathing suit is inappropriate for children now? You know, that isn't just something in a video game. You see that in real life. You know, you put your children in bikinis when you take them to the beach. Your children wear bathing suits when you take them to the beach. Uh, your wife's in a bathing suit when you go to the beach. You are in a bathing suit when you go to the beach. So what is this supposed to mean? All the crap in this game and pictures of women in bathing suits are what's inappropriate. Uh, it's sexualized. It's been a long time since I put on a bikini, but you are never going to come up to me on a beach and accuse me of sexualizing your children or pushing sex on your kids. In fact, you're not going to do that to any woman on a beach. You're not going to do that to any woman anywhere. <laughs> At least not if you know what's good for you. So why would you be bitching about it in a video game? A video game which is not for children. The only way it would get into a child's hands is if you bought one for your child. I don't want to hear any of the shit from these people. Like, they always think they're the first ones to come up with these ideas. The first ones to try to bring attention to bad things that you should not let your children have. Uh, there are many special interest groups going back a lot of years, a lot of decades, that have been complaining about and fighting against anything Anything and everything that they don't want precious little junior son of a bitch to hear on the radio or play on his game console or watch on TV. And there are people that actually listen to these freaks. And then all of your movies, I grew up with it, all your movies were chopped to shit. Your music was chopped to shit. You're not allowed to experience anything anymore because dumbasses like this are worried about what Junior Son of a Bitch consumes. And Junior Son of a Bitch's consumption habits are his parents' problem. You know, I want to tell YouTube so bad sometimes. When I have a playlist, I listen to a playlist because I want to hear videos in a row without interruption. That's why I have a playlist. I don't want to see your stupid warnings 
and have the playlist stopped because I have to agree to warnings and recommendations. That is not a playlist. If it stops and I have to go back to my computer and I have to hit buttons to get the playlist to continue, it's not a playlist. I don't give a fuck about your warnings. I'm an adult. I want to listen to things without interruption. That's what I want. They need to fix that shit. I am so sick of that shit. I am sick of my experiences being interrupted because of assholes like this and their fucking children. I'm done with it. Oh, please, oh, please. Oh, no. Let's see what people are saying here. I'm sure they're all going to be hopefully saying the same thing I am. Did you read the GTA age recommendation? It says 18 plus. That means no children. It's for adults. If you gift them this game, that's your problem. I swear, all the shit in video games, and then the media goes hard after GTA when it should be addressing parenting. That's because it's more popular to blame an inanimate object like a game, a film, a book, than to blame these idiots who can't parent worth a damn when their kids become troubled. Oh, boy. I worked for GameStop in the early 2000s. You'd be shocked how many parents bought GTA for their kids. Even after we had to give them a long list of reasons, it was rated M for Mature. They would just shrug and say, uh, they've seen or heard worse. The ones who did refuse, it was almost always due to sexual content. Violence, drug use, profanity, no problem. Timmy might see a blurry tit. Stop the fucking process. Yeah, don't blame Rockstar for shitty parenting. I guess these people are not very well versed in video gaming because there's a lot of shit in a lot of games. I guess if it's subliminal messaging, that's okay, but if it's a black woman in a bikini, that's a problem. Uh, wait, you can't blame the parents. I remember working at Toys R Us around the time Vice City was out. A kid about 10 to 12 came up to me and handed me the game. Was like, uh, sorry, but no. <laughs> Flashback to my dad buying me Vice City and the store clerk telling him it's not for kids. The lady behind us was purposely saying out loud, I wouldn't buy my kids that kind of game. My neighbor lets his kid play it. The kid is nine. Unreal. I don't let my son go over there ever. This is the same group of people who will call drag queen story hour sexual grooming. But a dad taking his prepubescent boys to Hooters is totally normal and not sexual in any way. Irony is not a part of their lexicon and now we get to chuckle nervously at the thought that these people vote.
hee-haw at the Republican who fantasizes about using liberals for target practice instead of just playing the game like a normal fucking adult. Yeah, that's another thing. That Chong dude on Twitter is, like, complaining about the game. Then Community Notes lets everybody know he wrote, like, 300 articles about GTA games. Then he backpedals again and says, well, it's a good game because you get to shoot minorities in it. So these parents, they don't want their kids seeing this shit, but they'll still buy it for their kids because of racist shit. You have these people who are delusional. This is why card games like Cards Against Humanity are so scandalous. They just need to be educated. I used to work at a game store. This woman was adamant that her kid could only get E-rated games. The kid just wanted Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Mom was wearing an Anthrax t-shirt. I asked her if she listened to it with her kid in the car. Of course, she exclaimed. In fact, some of that freaking music is in the game. So she bought him the game. This is probably the same idiot who took his kids to see Deadpool because super, superhero movies are for kids. It's a cartoon, so that means it's for kids. I mean, the R rating means nothing anymore. People don't even care, I swear. Oops. I want candy. I want candy. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've only got a few minutes left on this shit. Straight, straight trash. Let's go see that cute dog movie, Cujo. <laughs> yeah, people people don't even pay attention. They don't even care. Do, 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 do. Okay, dude, is it yours or is it mine? Which are you going to let me do? Cartoon, cartoon, cartoon. I recall the song Blame Canada was nominated for an Oscar. Oscar, not Grammy. It lost out to one of the songs from Tarzan. That's why they made fun of Phil Collins in that one episode. Parker and Stone were bitter about that loss. Oh, so... Okay. Hey, I didn't even know that. And I was like the biggest South Park fan back in the day. Biggest.
Okay, fine. I guess I am ordering my shit myself. Fine, be that way. I'm ordering this shit myself. I have to have it. I just have to. Okay. You mean I can't just judge a book by its cover? So exhausting to look up this shit. It's GTA, so duh, but I'm not very confident we'll still have a functional country by 2025. Better get your ass out and vote. Oh, but that means they won't have to parent their own kids. Damn, wait till they discover adult videos on the internet. They probably already have. Eighteen plus has always been the standard for GTA games. I think this guy just wanted to be noticed. Stuff like this happens every time a new GTA is shown. Uh, the last new GTA was 2013. I don't know. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. There's 50 billion games that are just as bad. There are so many horrible games all over the place that are just not for kids. Bye, Kevin. McCarthy will resign from Congress at the end of the month and will not seek re-election. This brings the margin down to two votes. Good. Like I keep saying, let them eat each other. Let them resign in disgrace. Let them go. From speaker to out on his ass in a single term. Harriet Jones, former prime minister. He must be tired from having his soul sucked out by Trump. Only when his defeat was total, spineless. But everyone's got a number with Trump. The number is just now many days until their usefulness to Trump runs out. Scaramucci being record holder for the lowest number. Called him Boner. Yeah, I bet that's actually how you pronounce that last name. It's Boehner. Uh, I don't know. Now he works for a cannabis corporation advocating both the use of medical marijuana and federal deregulation. Man's had a wild ride. He said he was unalterably opposed to the legalization of marijuana when he needed the Republican votes. Now he sits on the board of directors at Acreage Holdings. Integrity never met her.
I wonder if his speaker portrait is just a blurry painting of the back of his head as he runs off into the distance. Now he'll make some real money. He'll end up getting a board of directors position somewhere for about 500k plus a year and do lobbying. These guys leave Congress without leaving Congress. Just allows them to lurk around in the shadows instead of the daylight. Wasn't there this other Republican speaker who recently couldn't win re-election and went bye-bye? Paul Ryan got his billionaire tax cut from Trump, then suddenly made a royal fuck-ton of money. He's deep in college boards and boards of directors now, shaping the tenuous future of our great nation. Okay, $75 for George Santos on Cameo. There are like washed up, disgusting D-list actors who charge like three times that amount. And people actually pay it. A lot of them do it for the lulls, but they still pay it. Oh, I love this one. Parent of slain Uvald student is manhandled when she attempts to retrieve her son to participate in a walkout. This cowardly cop backs down as soon as her husband confronts him. This is why if you're a woman, don't ever, ever, ever think that if a cop or anybody tries to manhandle you, it's because they have to or have a right to. Get yourself a huge fucking boyfriend and they will back the fuck down at first sight of him. The only reason any guy would try to do anything untoward to you is because they know you're alone. I love this, though. I could watch it all day long. Get off of her. I don't give a shit. Get your hands off of her. Get your hands off of her. No, the no, she's not. She's getting her son, goddamn son. Yes, she is. She is getting her son. You're gonna keep in her goddamn son? Then let her go. Let her go. Let her get her son. Let her get her son. You don't even know. You need to not talk to my wife that way. You don't know the story. I'm her fucking husband. I just watched what you did to my wife. The parent of a mass shooting victim. That your pig hands are all over her. God, it would have been the icing on the cake if he had knocked this fucker out. You know, I don't even know the story, sir. It doesn't matter. I was right here. I've been here. You haven't been here. I have been here. Okay. okay. You need to stay back. Stay back. For her, for her. Stay back. Come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. I, I hate them all. Coward put more effort into keeping that woman out than saving her fucking kid. Yup, isn't that always how it goes? And I mean, how could you do that? Like, 
she has been fighting this good fight ever since that shooting took her child. The one person she probably would love to deck more than anyone. No problem just putting his hands on her until he sees that the husband is standing right there behind her. Oh, these fucking pigs, I tell ya. Because they don't care. As a parent, the reality is we can't afford to ever assume our children will be protected by law enforcement. If you have children, you must talk to your kids about all this stuff, school violence, bullying, and what they should do when anything happens to them or in their school. When we grew up as kids, we never dreamed things could happen in a school. It's a shame, but the reality we all live in. Yeah, those kids never saw that shit coming either. How do you think those children feel? You can't expect anyone to be protected by law enforcement. That one court ruled they have no duty to protect anyone. They're not protectors. They're enforcers. Now the sooner that everyone understands that, the better you are to deal with these people. Exactly this. Enforce those traffic laws and get that state run of revenue. Funny thing is, years ago I went to court and for the first time heard the truth. Judge actually said, you're here because you got a ticket. It's very simple. You pay the fine and you be on your way. We're only here to get money from you. Like, holy shit. He actually said that out loud. I learned as a teenager, never trust cops. Handle things yourself. Because by the time they even do arrive, you'll be dead. They are not there to help you because we have so many times we have seen this. There are cases people call the police for help. They end up dead because of it. There was a little girl during one of those shootings. I think it was Uvalde. The cop actually told the kid to call out if they needed help. She called out. The shooter went in, put a bullet in her head. I would say I hope that guy thinks about that when he lays his fat thumb head to sleep on his pillow every night. But he probably hasn't missed a beat. Behind the Police podcast, Behind the Bastards, is eye-opening on its history and puts everything in perspective. Behind the Bastards is a really interesting podcast. Thank you. If you really want to get touchy with the Second Amendment, let me ask you this. If it exists because a militia is necessary for the security of a free state, but police decide they'll just trample over your freedoms, isn't the logical conclusion of the Second Amendment to keep cops away in order to protect your freedoms? Yes. Let's see how many other people realize that's exactly what it means. Yep, based. Unironically, yes. Want to know what I learned while working at an elementary school? We are not legally responsible to protect students during a shooting. We are explicitly told that if something gets really bad, just run for your own life and abandon the children. Hearing this during training for school shootings felt like a punch to the gut. None of us would ever do that, and alluding to it felt offensive. Laying down your life for a frightened child just goes without question. Let me guess. They don't relay this to the parents.
That makes sense, though. I can't think of any job where you are legally required to protect anyone. If the cops won't do it, why the fuck would I do it? Plenty of teachers would lay down their lives, I'm sure. But making it a stipulation of work is ridiculous. Dying is necessary cannot be a job duty. You know who it used to be a job duty for? Who it is a job duty for? Cops. I know a lot of people don't like him, but who is that podcaster guy with the glasses? Um, oh, God, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. He used to be affiliated with um, TYT and um, all of those news podcasters. Jimmy Dore. That's who he is. Oh, God. When that, uh, he had this week long every day. He went on this tirade every day for like a week. That was anti-cop, especially when it came to the school shootings. I had that shit on repeat for days. I don't care what anybody has to say about Jimmy Dore. His views on police, especially when it comes to shootings, is brilliant. He said it best. He said it right. And I will repeat it. It, it was so brilliant. I loved it. He said, I pay taxes. I live in a country with a police force because they are supposed to face danger to protect all of us. Cops are not supposed to go to work and think my number one priority is that I get home safe. They're not supposed to think, uh, cops are not supposed to think they go to work and it's all about them going home safe. You are supposed to be working so that we get home safe. You are supposed to be carrying a gun on my tax dollar. You're supposed to be wearing those press pants and those little tin badges and walking the beat around all the neighborhoods to make sure that we stay safe. If it's between innocent civilians and you, it's supposed to be you. That's what we're supposed to be paying you for. It's not about you getting home safe. It's about us getting home safe. And, you know... I, I'm not exactly sure. I've got to look it up because people like to reference that court case in which it was determined, of course, that uh, police can't be held responsible for, you know, whoever got hurt or injured or killed in that particular instance because, you know, they don't have the obligation to protect anybody. So it's that other party's tough shit. And I don't know if this was a state Supreme Court or if it was the main Supreme Court, because uh, that does make a difference. But that is a slap in the face to regular people and might as well have been federal because why else? How else would you explain Cops, people who want to get into the business of carrying the gun and acting like tough guys, you know, for all those hardened criminals who forget to put on their signal light. As soon as innocent children are being gunned down in a school, they're nowhere to be found. When an active shooter is at a gay nightclub 
they're all standing around outside. When parents break out of their handcuffs to go in and save their child, they can't have that. Why? Why? You obviously don't want to do shit. You never want to do shit. People know you're not doing shit. So somebody else goes in to do the job you are supposed to do. That's why you're getting pissed. That's why people like this mom are being harassed and manhandled and assaulted and threatened and abused. If it's not your job, then why do you care? It's because they know it is supposed to be their job. It's what people expect them to do for their paycheck. It's the right thing to do. The ones with the badges and the hats and the guns with the Punisher logos on their phones are going to look a little bit fucking stupid if they decide to stand outside of a school while kids are getting shot up, but parents are the ones going in to do their job, the job they should be doing, it's an embarrassment to them. So, like the pieces of shit they are, put mom in handcuffs so she can't go in. You're not going in. But you don't want, you can't let her go in because that would look really bad for you. No, you want everyone to just stand outside and wait for the whole thing to blow over so that you can say you did all you could. It's, oh God, if, if I ran things in this country, if I ran things in this country for just, Just a fucking year. Yeah, people talk about dictators. Trump wants to be a dictator. People want the dictator. They want Trump as a dictator. Make me a fucking dictator. Actually, I won't even need a year. I will whip this fucking system into shape. I'll tell you what. And I'm sure a lot of other people would too. Yeah, it's a school. They'll only let her in the building if she has a gun, silly. Love how his voice starts cracking when he's face to face with this woman's husband. These cops are the biggest bitches in the world. Yep, we saw that video on the internet. Fuckers would rather beat up innocent parents than save children. I've seen the worst videos the internet has to offer and not a single one has hit me as hard as that one. I don't understand how anybody could live in that town, pay their government a dime after seeing that. Not only are you not going to be protected by the people you pay money to be protected by, I don't care what they say, they're going to make it easier for these evil people to kill your children. You're literally paying for people to prevent you from saving your child. I have kids and I cannot imagine the pain those parents went through. Those gutless cops figured it was safer for their own skin to handcuff a parent willing to die trying to save their child than to put their excellent training and state-issued assault rifles they're holding toward the absolute exact usage it is designed for. I'm sorry, but every Uvalde cop needed to be fired. All of them, entire department, top to bottom, they are an outrage, an embarrassment, a travesty. I don't give a fuck if they've 
been a brand new rookie for two days or chief of police for 20 years. All of them, kick them the fuck out. Well, those are cops for you, worse than useless. That entire department needed to be placed in jail. Keep letting it go on like it is. God, Michael Moore said it right. We, the people, can do whatever the fuck we want. We, the people, and that's people just like us, are the majority. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Aww, little bear hat. <laughs> so cute. You would have no fucking problem getting enough people together and getting rid of all of them. Ah, oh, I would so... If I had a dick, I'd be hard right now. Thinking about a system where people like this are the ones that go into our prisons. It would be so awesome. I watched a Frontline episode about these assholes and they're all basically admitting they were scared and didn't want to go in. Incompetent at every level. It took them 10 to 15 minutes to figure out the building had kids in it. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't take them 10 to 15 minutes just to determine if there were kids in the school. Then another 10 to 15 minutes to organize and go in. Then another 15 minutes, then another 20. Shut the fuck up. They didn't spend 10 to 15 minutes at a time trying to get all of their ducks in a row. They were stalling. They were stalling for time because they didn't want to go in. Because they're a bunch of fucking pussies. They didn't need 10, 15 minutes at a time to figure out anything. They didn't want to go in. Yeah. They were just lying to themselves to convince themselves sitting in the parking lot was okay. That's all it was. Sitting there trying to pass the buck onto somebody else. And I guess they all collectively agreed like a bunch of monkeys in a circle that the longer they stand outside pretending to look busy, that's the longer they can go without having to do their job. The whole fucking nation knows this. Why don't you? How could you not know that school was in session? He was actually a school cop. Everybody knows school is in session. Is it between Monday and Friday? Is it between the hours of 7.30 and 2.30? Is it a regular day that is not a major national, federal, or local holiday? Then it's school. School time. School's in session. Again, they know this. Hate to say this, but the problem is the police union. All the fucking poor ass people out there, trade jobs, teachers, waitresses, pretty much everyone in the labor force needs to have a union and cannot get one. But the one union that works is the police union. All the power of the unions everybody in the American workforce should have is completely absent 
they have all mashed together some big mutant ball of fucking shit form to protect police in this country. They protect crooked cops, provide them free lawyers. They get the best benefits, the best pension your tax dollars can pay for. And they ensure, regardless of how many they kill, they get to keep their fucking job. Yep, I'm a parent, and I would have rushed into that school to get my baby and every baby I could hold without a second fucking thought. But these trained professionals didn't want to go in. They even abused and handcuffed parents, many of them women, mothers, for trying to go in to do the job they were too pussy to do. I'm frankly surprised no conspiracy theories have ever come out about the cops defending the school shooter. Hell, that's one bucket of rumors I'd be happy if they went around. You talk about naming and shaming people for doing heinous, evil acts in this world. These are the people that need to be named and shamed every fucking day of their lives. Yeah. Oh, what's this? One of the Uvalde cops' wife was a teacher. He tried to go in only to be told to stand down, and he stayed outside and cried while she died. Even when it's their own. His own fucking wife. And he took orders while she died. He stayed outside with them while she died. God, when they say they purposely hire the lowest common denominator in the IQ department, I don't think they were kidding. I mean, it's always been fun to uh, joke about. Now you know it's true. That's what makes it even more scary. Oh, God. Uh, that's just adding insult to injury. Imagine losing your child. And it's not just about incompetence. It's incompetence because they're all fucking morons. They're that fucking stupid and fucked in the head. 
that they don't know how to make their own decisions. They don't have any sense of empathy. And that's why your kid died. Your loved one died because somebody else is a fucking idiot. I would never be able to go on after that. Cowardly is the perfect word to describe this shit bag. He lowers his tone immediately when that guy gets in his face. Stay back, my camera's going. Bro was scared shitless. Oh, his camera's going. So it was okay for him to put his hands on that woman. The camera's going. They're not going to say anything about what he was doing to that woman. But if the guy knocked his ass out, that's what the camera is really for. That's another thing. Uh, body cams are supposed to be to protect me, not to protect them. Maybe they are, and he was just lying. Because he was scared. Eh, considering the department, his cowardice makes sense. There might be a 99% chance he is one of the cowards. And that's probably why he attacked that woman. At what point does a person think, maybe this isn't right. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Hey, I firmly believe that Uvalde police are just as responsible as the shooter. I consider them accessories to the crime. You missed the civil rights violation he made when claiming the sign was causing a disturbance. The disturbance was from him. Public building, public official, parent with legitimate business, her child was in the school, specifically stating that took it from policy enforcement, verifying people have business, to attempting to silence protected speech, and then engaging in an assault to further those aims. They should have all been fired and charged for accessories to murder. Big tough guy when it's a woman that he thinks is by herself. You know, it, it's, it's very simple. And there was a hallway full of other adults there. Do you remember after George Floyd when we had like 50 billion videos of like cops crying? The cop cried in the drive through because her egg McMuffin wasn't finished and she was that concerned that they were trying to do something to it or they were out to get her. Because everybody was uh, finally figuring it out. All the things wrong in this country. This big problem with police we have in this country. And there's all kinds of other videos and cartoons. And, and nobody cared. It's like I remember this cartoon where a cop throws his badge into a garbage can and walks away into the sunset going, 
It's just not worth it anymore. And the overwhelming response was, are we supposed to feel sorry for you? They're hiring at McDonald's. You'd be more useful there. Seriously, and it's that easy. He has every right to do what he's doing to this Uvalde mom. As soon as her husband gets involved, now he's not doing it anymore. If he has the right to do it, why would anybody standing in front of him stop him? Because they don't have a right to do these things. They do them because they think nobody's going to stop them. I've seen many, many videos, many, many videos where shit stops in its tracks because people stand up to them and say, oh, no, you're not. Seriously. And, and, and then all this shit comes out, all these stupid cartoons and these crying videos and drive throughs like we're supposed to feel sorry for them. Fix your shit. Yeah, it's the citizens too. Every single one that voted to reelect the same people have done absolutely nothing to prevent another one. And that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what's sad. Uvalde could have been the start of something all new in this country. These people could have put their foot down they could have done exactly what this husband did to every single one of these people. Hell, they grossly outnumber their police force. They could do whatever the fuck they want and send a message. And it would have a ripple effect throughout this entire nation. Like was said that I like to repeat, we, the people, can do whatever the fuck we want. We have the power to make whatever the fuck we want to happen, happen. We see little tiny snippets of this. Like during the pandemic, or right after the pandemic, where people just didn't show up to their crappy jobs anymore. We saw little snippets of it. You know, in this video, we see a tiny little snippet of it. We, the people, have the power to do whatever the fuck we want. You just have to band together. Everyone has to get on board and just collectively say no. The people run things. It doesn't work the other way around. People are the ones that run things. What the majority says goes. And that's why J6 was such an epic failure. I know all these people thought that everyone else was going to see what they were doing and come to join them or do the same thing in their cities. Of course, nobody did. They were just a small small, small amount of fuckwits that decided to go and storm the Capitol and throw feces around like a bunch of monkeys, thinking that they were going to enact change. No, honey. You should have looked at how many of you there were outside and realized it's never going to work. Remember the women with the pink pussy hats after Trump was uh, elected or Trump became president? That is a crowd. You see how many people are marching in streets in every city across the entire fucking planet in response to this 
Israel Palestine kind of a conflict. That is a crowd. That is a number of people that can get shit done. Those are the numbers you're talking about. And then you see those videos of those climate protesters blocking traffic. And people think they're a laughing stock and they actually abuse them in the open and they drag them out of traffic and shit like that. Yeah, because there's like five of them. <laughs> five of you does not do anything. 500,000 of you will. I don't know. But I am done with this. Where is my drinky? Uh-oh. Driver is almost here. My star bones is almost on its way. So I'm taking off because I'm sipping my drink and I'm playing my Vigima game. I got my bitching out for the night. So, mwah.